Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is the first video of this new channel, so please subscribe and press the notification button here because I'm going to be posting every week on this channel. In this video, I am going to be reviewing the free MOBA, Smite. This game is like most MOBAs, like League of Legends and Dota 2, but it does have some differences. Like, instead of the camera being top-down, it is behind the character. And with this one little change, though, it really changes how you, how the game feels. So, so guys, let's start on with the review. The main goal in most games of Smite is to get to the end of a lane and destroy the enemy titan before they destroy yours. There is both a ranked mode and an unranked mode for most game modes in this game. Smite has multiple game modes. In the main game mode is Conquest. Conquest is set up like most MOBAs with three lanes and a jungle, a left lane, a middle lane, and a right lane. Each lane in Conquest and other game modes, have multiple towers and a phoenix to try to keep you away from the titan, dude. The jungle has monsters that give you buff when you destroy them, buffs when you destroy them. You don't, you need, you should destroy at least multiple titans, though, at once, though, so that way you can have, like, three to four gods try attacking the enemy titan at once. Two to three phoenixes at a time. The main game mode doesn't get stale, even after hundred a match, hundreds of matches. There are several other game modes other than Conquest still. One of those game modes is Arena. Arena is a 5v5 battle that takes place in a Coliseum. Each team in Arena starts off with 500 tickets, and you win by getting your opponent's tickets to zero. You make your opponent lose tickets by... Destroying the minions and the uh, and the opponent gods of the opposite team. Arena is is one of the shortest game modes in this game. In spite, there aren't towers in this game mode, so it feels like there's a huge focus on teamwork. If there's in other game modes, because this game mode is very short though, dude, it is it is really fun though to have to play multiple matches though. Another one of these game modes, though, is Joust. Joust is a 3v3 where, bat where players battle on a single lane with a jungle on either side. This game mode still has multiple towers, though, and a phoenix at the end, though, dude, to guard the titan. You get gold way fast. You get gold faster in this game mode than you do in Conquest. And so you can get the items you want for your builds faster. The game There have been several game modes I haven't played yet, like... Assault, Clash, and Domination, though. And I haven't played any of the matches of the day. And that's all, dude. Let's get on with characters. Smite? has a huge diversity of gods that you can choose from to play as. In fact, there's over 100 characters stretched over several mythologies, including Greek and Roman to Egyptian and Japanese. With so many Egyptian gods, with so many gods in this game, in the game, it is a grind to unlock them all. You can use both flavor and gems to unlock them. It takes 5,500 flavor to unlock one god. And so to get all of them, it would take over 550,000 flavor to unlock all of them without spending money. You could also get the God Pack, which comes with every God, and it's only $30. So that's, that's still, that is worth it if you think about that, though, dude, because $30 worth of gems would only get you, like, maybe 10. But you could be, it is still, it's still free to grind out, though. It does take a long time, though, but it is, but it, it, you still get it, but it's still, you don't have to pay like that. Some gods in this, they, some of the gods they have in this game, though, include ones like Zeus and Hades to Ra and Thor. 
They even have characters from mythologies that are not gods, like Merlin and King Arthur. Smite is a free-to-play MOBA, so it is free-to-play, so they do have to make money somehow. As I said before, all the gods can be earned for free, but you can get them with gems. They're like two, they're 200 gems per god, which is so much money if you get all of them. The battle pass is 750 gems, which and 80, 800 gems is, is $15, so it's a lot of money for the battle pass. Like most games, the game does have loot boxes, so... But they are just skins and emotes, and you can get certain skins and emotes without having to get loot boxes. The game... You don't ever have to spend a dime in this game, though, if you don't want to. Let's get out. Okay guys, with all of the game modes included into this game though, you can play this game for hundreds of hours before you start getting bored. I have not put that I have not put that much time into this game though, because as some people have put hundreds of hours into this game, so I still need to play a lot more. But the main game mode is still very fun to play. With its hundreds of characters and skins, you almost have an endless amount of options to play as. The game is free, but it, at, and by, for being free though, it does have microtransactions into it, like most games. And with all this though, I give the game a 7 out of 10. If you enjoyed this review on Smite, please leave a like and smash that subscribe button. And hit the notification bell. We're trying to get 10 subs by the end of the month. Also, leave a comment saying what you think of Smite. See you next week. Bye.